There is always a railroad line adjacent to where the bodies are found. And all the victims disappeared in the fall. The killer has a large comfort zone. He gained confidence rapidly and moved away from his base. Hmm, this won't make the geoprofiling any easier. Always the same ritual. An origami in the hand, an orchid on the chest. The victims have always been dead for less than six hours when they were found, which means they remained alive for several days before being drowned. Over 3,500 people questioned. Over 100 suspects interrogated. Not a single lead to go on. The killer is white, aged between 30 and 45. He is intelligent, calm, and determined. An organized type. He has a car. He's probably employed, but his work allows him free time. Killer's car is probably a Chevrolet Malibu 83. No prints or specific clues. Hmm. Nothing much to go on. Just one origami store in town. Hmm, a common species. That doesn't help much. The orchid is a common species. It can be found at any flower shop. my face. I need to take some. I'm gonna faint if I resist. It's all right. I know I can make it. I know. I know I can make it.
feel better. This is Lieutenant Blake, Mr. Marsh. Could you please tell him what happened? It, it was this afternoon. I went to the park with my son, Sean. We played together for a while, and then he wanted to go on the carousel, so I put him on one of the wooden horses, and when I turned back, Sean had disappeared. Exactly what time did you arrive at the park? Try to remember exactly, Mr. Mars. Every detail can be important. It must have been about... Four forty-five, I think. I'm not really sure. What was your son wearing when he disappeared? He was wearing a coat. A green coat. And a pair of pants. Beige pants. How could Sean have disappeared without you even noticing? Weren't you right by the carousel? I went for a short walk around the park just for a few minutes. When I got back, the carousel had stopped and Sean wasn't there. You say you took your son to the park after school. But you didn't report him missing until 8.15. Why did it take you so long to contact the police? I went home and waited for him there. I thought he might have gone off with some friends and that he'd come home soon. All right. That's all the questions I have for now. You're free to go, Mr. Mars. We'll continue to look for Sean overnight. We'll contact you if we have any more questions. Do... Do you think the origami killer... Listen, your son's probably just run off and he'll turn up in a couple of hours. But what if it is the origami killer? Well, then we have about four days to find him alive. <laughs>